Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for even clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be doing an affordable back to school haul, how you can still look cute, trendy, and all that kinds of stuff, but not break the bank. Because we all, most college students, the majority of college students don't just have like a whole bunch of money to be spending on clothes. So I filmed a um, little try on haul and I just had to make a quick intro to the video. So if the video starts off a little weird of me talking about something, just don't mind it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it and make sure you subscribe to this channel, please. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the new year. So this is like affordable things. You can still, you know, look cool and trendy and cute or your style, whatever, but you don't have to spend thousands of dollars. So, and also these are just a few items that I picked that I think are, my style just changes up on a daily basis, okay? One day I'm girly, one day I'm a little bit more tomboyish the next day. I don't know, preppy, everything in one. But right now, um, it's super hot in Georgia, super duper hot, but also fall is coming up, obviously, because the fall semester just started. And um, yeah, these are like campus cash clothes. Like it's casual, it's still cute, you can still wear it on campus. It's all in one of the three C's. So I went to, um, well, y'all saw the clip of me in Goodwill, so I did a little bit of thrifting and i kind of diy'd a few tops then i went to ross which by the way is a great store if you're looking for trendy items but affordable and then lastly i bought just a few items on fashion nova so and also i went to ragarama in atlanta which is another thrift in place and then the next thing i got which y'all saw and i didn't cut this one because i liked the color and it's just a plain brownish nude t-shirt with a pocket I just washed it that's why it's really wrinkly then this which turned out really cute was that long button down polo top but I cut it of course and washed it and this was like $3.99 or $4.99 I think $3.99 I love these just flannels and I really like this color and pattern just a green one long great for in class because y'all know it'd be hot outside then you get in class and it'd be like 30 degrees they keep it freezing and this was probably like six dollars from goodwill then lastly from goodwill i got which i thought was pretty cool just because i'm black and this is like black history it's just a long sleeve t-shirt and it has martin luther king jr and barack and then on the back it has literally our founding fathers not the ones they forced in our head at school but yeah like all the black monumental people on the back and it has all their names down here the shirt is a bit faded but I thought it just added like a more graphic effect to the shirt and it's long sleeve and I didn't cut it as in like a super crop top but I did cut the bottom just to add a little more shape to it and then I washed it of course so I really like that one and then when I went to Ragorama in Atlanta, which was in my previous vlog, which will be right here. Go ahead and watch it. Um, I didn't get much, but I got this t-shirt, just a white t-shirt, and it's from In and Out, which we don't have here in Georgia, but of course it's in California, and the back has like a little In and Out scene. I thought it was kind of cute with some biker shorts or whatever. And also from Ragaroma, I got, which I've been looking for some of these for a while, y'all. And I went in and they had some, like the mid top, mid rise, whatever, horses. And they're a nice white. And I think these were $50, which is a steal. Because if you buy these brand new, I think they're like $150, maybe $120. So, and they're in pretty good condition. I can't wait to wear these. I'm gonna wear them with like some high socks, some biker shorts, some graphic tees. That's literally gonna be like my whole fit for like this whole school semester until it gets really cold. Biker shorts, cool t-shirts, jewelry, we're out of there. Speaking of biker shorts, I already had a black pair, but then I needed some more because those were kind of thin. So I got some more from Ross and I have these gray ones here. A nice dark gray which I really like and what I love about these it has a pocket right on the side and literally my phone fits perfect so it's great and I also got these in black 
they were they came together so that was great and then also from Ross I got some randomly I got some pink Adidas leggings and it has like the Adidas on the leg which I thought was really cute I'm not sure if I wear these like to class but I know I wear them to the gym I'm not 100% sure if I wear them to class I'm not sure yet but I thought these were really cute and these were I think and they were on sale they were like $15 I think they were on sale for seven originally priced they were $35 if I were to get them from like Academy or Champs or something like that we love a good deal John next from Ross I got like I, like I told y'all right now I'm really into graphic tees and biker shorts so that's what I have a lot of I got this uh, and this was on sale because I wasn't even gonna get this but it was only three or four dollars so I was like okay it just says the one and only Mickey Mouse 1928 is that? Whoa. yeah so and I got these a little oversized so they can be a little slouch you know so we got that Tune Squad I guess Looney Tunes which interesting enough I was born in 1996 and I think that's when Looney Tunes was like starting to really pop so I don't really remember Looney Tunes to be completely honest because I was just born so but I know it's like a thing so I just grabbed it and it's long sleeve which is going to be great for in class like I told y'all it's cold and on the sleeves it just has Space Jam which I know Michael Jordan was in that movie, right? Right. And then I just got this nice bright yellow long sleeve Nike shirt um, from Ross as well. And this was $10.99. The Looney Tunes shirt was $5. So, so far, <clears throat> we're doing good. The biker shorts, it was like I told y'all, it was a gray pair and a black pair, two in one. Together, it was like $13. So that's great and the last two things from Ross that I got were some jeans and I really like the way these fit honey okay these are just some jeans I really like this part here and there the wax jeans I know Fashion Nova has like a wax jean thing so yeah I got these jeans they're just a basic standard denim washed jean um they fit really nice I like the color I think these were $17 so we got those and then I got some of these cool pants which y'all know are kind of trendy right now like the different printed as you can see it's like a checkerboard print and they get skinny at the bottom which is what I like which is kind of kind of hard to find <clears throat> you can definitely find this print at like Goodwill or thrift store but a lot of times the bottoms are like wide leg or straight leg these actually get skinny at the bottom but yeah these were I think $12 now moving on to Fashion Nova which actually this is my first time ordering from Fashion Nova yeah I was a bit skeptical I didn't get any tops actually quick story when I was ordering my clothes from Fashion Nova I put a t-shirt like a, it was just like this except it wasn't actual polo it was just like a knockoff polo it had the collar it was just like this shirt but it was cropped and I was about to buy it it was in my car for $15 and I was like wait I can go get that in the men's section at a thrift store and cut it and it'll be the it's the exact same shirt so ways on saving money I'm all about saving money when I can the first thing from Fashion Nova I got these jeans which are the wide leg jeans and I've always I've always wanted some of these but um, I don't know I just decided to get them so and I was a bit skeptical because I was like I'm tall I'm five eight and a half so I was like I hope they're long enough because I hate seeing a pants when it's wide leg at the bottom or bell bottom whatever and then they don't even touch the floor but these I tried them on they touch the floor this is how they look these are really cute and I can't wait to style these these were they were probably like 15, 20, I know they were on sale I don't know but I got these 
Next, which is what I really went on there for because I saw this girl on Instagram that I follow with these jeans on and she tagged Fashion Nova. These are so cute to me. Right now, I'm not even really into like a really skinny ankle pant. I'm more into not a bell bottom, just like a straight, just straight bottoms. And these, my friend, are amazing. They're like this. And they have the knee out, very clean knee, and then it cuffs at the bottom. These are so cute. These are like boyfriend or mom jeans or something. What are these? These are the Nacho Mama's Distressed Boyfriend Jeans. And they fit really cute. These are my favorite, favorite that I bought. So we have these. And then last, lastly, I got um, these, which I don't know what to say. I had an idea in mind of how I was going to wear them before I ordered them. But when I got them, they're a little too big and they're a little too baggy. But I think I'll try to style them some kind of way. They're just these. They cut at the ends. Like the kind of militant camo. Not camo, but the militant green um, pants. And they don't have pockets on the butt. I hate pants with no pockets on the butt. I don't like the way. Mm -mm. So these are the cargo chic pants in olive. And lastly, I forgot. I forgot that I got this. This is for when it gets a little bit cooler outside. I got this from Goodwill as well. It's from Gap. So that's, uh, this was only $6. It's just like a black, I don't know, something. But I thought it was kind of cool. So that concludes my little mini haul. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel, please. I would really appreciate it. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the new year. It seems like it's a slow process, but I think we can do it if I just keep putting out more videos. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at say.sophie. And I'll see you guys in my next video.